What's your name? I'm uh, Shabam Nazarian, and the background actually is from um, the, it's a biblical reference that my grandmother um, liked, uh, where there, there's a reference to uh, the anointed shepherd in the Bible, and that's where my name comes from. It's the Shabon meaning shepherd. Sure. That has changed over the years, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, when I first came to the U.S., way back in 79, um, the reaction was um, more of a, not shock, but surprise of what, what kind of name is that, and the pronunciation was more difficult for people to get it right. It was, I had everything from Shaban to Shaban to all kinds of things. But now it's, um, I'm not sure why that is, but now when people see my name, the first time they see it, they pronounce it perfectly. Mm. They, they do well with it, um, better than they did 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So that has changed. Um, yeah, I, I used to tell people it's like Siobhan, Siobhan. with a B. Okay. So, so what is Siobhan? I don't know. Siobhan is an Irish name. Oh, okay. And it's spelled really differently. But that's a name that a lot of people are more familiar with as an Irish name. But just the sound of it is similar to that, except it's with a B, not a V. I didn't have any preferred nicknames, but people gave them to me. Uh -huh. And they weren't anything nice enough that you could live with. <laughs> Do you remember any? Shazam was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fun. There was a nickname my sister gave me when I was a kid, but I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> Shabnam. Shabnam, okay. <laughs> you may not even be in a mood. To, to give say, the name? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Do you have like a... I usually would give the name of whoever I was with. Ah. <laughs> or make up a name, Bill, or, mm -hmm. you know, something simple like that. That that has happened many times. Mm -hmm. No, I just would make up something on the spot. And sometimes I'd give them a name and I'd forget what I okay. <laughs> used. So they'd call the name and I'm like, oh, that's supposed to be me. But lately I've just used my own name. And that's... Uh, when I notice more and more people are doing better with it, I just use my name and I spell it out. Uh, sometimes, other times, people write it out and ask me if it's correct and they're right and they pronounce it perfectly. It's really interesting. I think with more, the past 10, 15 years, with more of a, a, a cultural diversity in the Twin Cities, mm -hmm. people have become more familiar with odd names like mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, representation and um, again, generational perspective of who, uh, what a culture is or who people are. Mm -hmm. Well, I came here in 79, so the early 80s, for sure, that was the trend that the people who were a little bit older and may have had other encounters with Iranians had a more positive perspective. And people who, who were younger, um, their immediate association was, was hostages. And as time went on, of course, uh, it was more and more negative with access of evil talk and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Iran has never left the news. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember any of those? Reactions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of times people would be, it was a visible, oh, and then sort of back. a little bit backed off and their demeanor would change. You could yeah. see it. I um, still get that. Yeah. But it's less frequent now than it was. I mean, that back in the 80s, it was all the time. Everybody was, would be a little bit taken back, and then they would try really hard to be positive and share some nice story or just silence and keep moving. Um, now it um, does, either doesn't come up as much, or when it does, it's not as, as significant. Um, but I do run into people who ask, uh, ask where I might be from, and then when they find out, especially if they're men, then they share, oh, I served in Afghanistan. Oh, and, yeah. and then I think, oh my God, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I think that experience may be different in different parts of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Minnesota is, um, at least on the surface, much more acceptable. But in the interview circuit around 
the country, there was one place that stood out um, uh, when I had an interview in Ohio. And the uh, chair of the pediatrics department, their first question was whether, uh, was what I thought of the KKK. First question right off the bat. You're not kidding. No kidding. And, and you chose to go to that school? No, my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get out fast enough. But that, that was shocking. I thought, oh my God, that's the first thing out of your mouth. And in the medical bubble, somewhat protected bubble, or I was blind to it, mm. which I think definitely played a role. Maybe ignorance is bliss. Once I'd been in um, practice for a number of years and uh, sort of have the assumption that you hold a certain um, level or a certain amount of respect and suddenly you start seeing things going uh, away from that without explanation. That's when I really started thinking, okay, what, why is that happening? And some of my uh, uh, African-American black friends pointed out that, well, it's obvious, don't you see it? <laughs> it was very obvious to them and I was sitting there wondering what's going on. Mm. Um, and that opened my eyes more. To see myself identify more as um, not Caucasian and probably closer to the black culture than not. Mm -hmm. Mostly um, the administrative authority Level. uh, levels and somewhat with peer-to-peer -peer experiences. Yeah. Last name, from the very beginning of when I came here, most common assumption is that it's Armenian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least Armenians have a good reputation here. I, I think so. Yeah. Kardashians. Yeah. <laughs> <For the>, yeah. <laughs> and in Minnesota, Dr. Nazarian. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the Nazarian, the IAN ending, for the most part, the assumption was that it's Armenian. Sometimes play games with people and say, no, it's not Armenian. And then they say, well, what is it? And I, well, do you want to guess? <laughs> and they, some people would get it within a couple of guesses. Mm -hmm. but knowing. Knowing the looks and, yeah. <laughs>